so hello everyone this is vikram so we also have dikshit with us with us in this call so both of us will be handling this training okay so this session is mainly about discussion discussing on uh, the various tools that we are going to cover and the various timelines okay so we are a team of two trainers so me and dikshit would be taking this whole training so i would be taking few topics and dikshit would be covering the rest of the topics and uh, we both have more than 8 years of experience into containerization container orchestration like kubernetes and uh, ci cd automation programming and cloud so this would cover all the topics that are needed for this end to end training okay and uh, these are the various tools that we would be covering throughout the sessions okay so we would cover linux git maven nexus sonar cube docker kubernetes okay helm charts jenkins ansible aws cloud terraform tomcat prometheus grafana and uh, basics of ingress controllers reverse proxies right and some uh, codes based on python so this is not end to end python there are some examples in python okay so coming to version controlling system we would cover git github and complete administration of github like the users repositories administration etc and coming to the cloud we see some of the core aws services that are needed for devops and containerization we would go for docker docker compose and docker swarm kubernetes and helm package manager in the configuration management we will be teaching ansible in ci cd we have complete jenkins right from basics to very advanced level of jenkins in the repository or artifacts management we would teach sonar type nexus and coming to build and release we will see apache maven and tomcat monitoring we have prometheus and grafana and scripting we would uh, teach shell scripting so there is no python scripting as such and for scanning the code we will use sonar queue and administration so we have linux administration that is complete linux administration and for infrastructure as a code tool uh, we would teach you terraform okay and uh, this is the end to end pipelines that you would be learning so it covers all the devops tools that we you know uh, we teach right starting from git jenkins maven sonar cube nexus uh, kubernetes docker right so everything will be covered in this end to end pipelines and uh, coming to the you know tool wise topics so these are the various topics that will be covered in linux so we will start with linux os in brief and then understand some basic commands like ls present working directory switch user man pages echo and we have uh, a very in depth sessions on file management text processing user and group management process management networking package management right environment variables uh, passwordless authentication file downloading utilities so this covers many important tools that we regularly use in our devops journey okay and uh, coming to shell scripting so these are the various topics covered uh, which includes introduction to shell scripting variables flow control loops functions right reading and writing files and uh, coming to git and github administration and again this is also very in depth uh, you know topic so you would understand what is version controlling the difference between git and github and how to install git and basic administration of git like creating organizations projects teams users and then creating local git repository and then configuring local git working with repositories branching branching strategies merging merging conflicts right git rebasing what is a pull request what is git fork so everything is covered in this git sessions and coming to maven as build tool we'll understand what is dependency management software development life cycle how to install maven okay and what are the various configurations uh available in maven maven life cycle what is a maven local repository remote repository uh, you know how to use nexus as the maven repository 
and then we'll see integration of maven with sonar cube nexus tomcat right so integrations are also covered and coming to tomcat we'll understand so what is tomcat what is the difference between a web server and an application server how to install tomcat and then how to manage the users and access deploy applications in tomcat okay so for this you need to understand why tomcat is needed correct and the rest of the administration part of tomcat and coming to docker and docker swarm so docker swarm currently we are not covering because this is no longer used or being asked in the interview so this is replaced by complete kubernetes coming to docker we'll understand uh, the need for containerization the differences between vms and containers hypervisors okay what exactly are containers how to install docker and docker images containers docker registries right how to use elastic container registry as docker registry so ecr is a service in aws and then we'll also understand how to set up your own docker registry using nexus and then we have in-depth sessions on creating custom docker images using docker files and optimizing docker files using multi-stage builds alpine and distilless images okay docker volumes networks docker compose and some basic uh, docker security is also covered and coming to jenkins so jenkins is very uh, it's a very huge tool so we'll spend you know many hours in jenkins like understanding why jenkins is needed what is ci cd jenkins installation administration freestyle jobs pipelines build agents master slave configuration how to run jenkins in uh, kubernetes platforms integration with nexus sonar cube maven email notifications backing up of jenkins integration with git okay so a lot of things are covered and then coming to the nexus so this is a tool that is used to store all the artifacts like docker images uh, zip files star files you can use it to store anything we will understand what is nexus repository what are artifacts how to configure nexus uh, i mean how to install nexus and how to configure it and basic nexus administration like user management repositories management what are the various types of repositories supported right and how to use nexus to store container images okay so all these are covered and coming to the so, uh, source code scanning we use sonar cube okay we'll understand the need for sonar uh, we'll understand the need for the source code scanning so why sonar cube is better when compared to other tools how to install it how to configure it okay so how to write custom rules custom quality profiles quality gates how to integrate with your maven project so everything is covered and uh, kubernetes is one topic which we also spend most of the time okay so we'll understand the need for orchestration and why kubernetes is so special kates architecture how to set up the cluster on aws and also on the local machines uh, the pods replica sets services dns deployment strategies probes config maps and secrets multi container patterns scheduling namespaces right resource quotas networking policies daemon sets shops and cron jobs kubernetes volumes pvpvcs service accounts and rbac uh, pod dis disruption budgets ingresses and uh, you know along with this we also have some minor topics which are not given here but uh, you know we'll cover them all them as well okay in coming to helm as package manager we'll understand the helm uh, the need for helm <clears throat> the helm 3 architecture installations uh, why helm is required okay how to download the existing helm charts or how to prepare your own helm chart okay and uh, helm also have some variables and flow control statements okay so we'll also understand it right so ansible is for in uh, configuration management so we'll understand the need for configuration management and installing ansible configuring ansible okay so how ansible works in the background okay and how do you write ansible playbooks so, so for that you need yaml scripting okay and what is host inventory what are hosts and groups variables okay what are ad hoc commands playbooks handlers templates modules right roles facts and also some of the advanced topics in ansible and uh, coming to the aws cloud we cover some of the core aws services like uh, what is cloud computing different cloud service models and important aws services regions and availability zones 
creating AWS account, IAM, S3, load balances and auto scaling, EC2, ECR, EBS, security groups, VPCs, CloudWatch and CloudTrail, secret manager. So all these are the various topics that we cover in AWS. And coming to Terraform, so Terraform also we'll understand from scratch, like setting it up and uh, understanding how to uh, automate your infra provisioning using Terraform with AWS provisioners. And uh, some of the core concepts of Terraform, like writing the state file, variables, outputs, locals, interpolation, okay, and whatever uh, data that you see. So all these will be covered. And coming to monitoring, so we would primarily focus on Prometheus and Grafana. So we'd understand how to install Prometheus and Grafana and some of the core components like node exporter, Prometheus rules, alert manager, okay, like installing Grafana and how to create alerts using, uh, you know, Prometheus rules. So everything is covered in the monitoring. And this is the timeline. We'll start with Linux and then we'll cover Git, then Maven and Tomcat. Then we would go for Docker and uh, nginx load balances that part then we switch to kubernetes and hell then we cover jenkins and all its integrations at the same time when we uh, teach jenkins we also cover nexus and sonar cube because we need to integrate them with jenkins so everything goes parallelly and after that ansible aws terraform so we uh, teach prometheus and grafan and the shell scripting at the end okay so we use high quality ppts and then uh, we also provide uh, like set up documents and all instructions either in uh, github readme files or through text files and uh, any important ebooks or documents will also be shared in google drive and we'll also discuss interview questions at the end of each tool okay uh, so the difference between other institutes and ours is we spend more time when compared to others and also if you see our content is updated every now and then okay because we would perform live installations live upgrades and live demos so during that you know we'll also constantly update our documents to the most recent versions of those uh, tools okay and uh, we believe equally in both theory and practicals so both will be covered in our sessions so we we would take four to five months because the content is so huge okay so we cannot complete in three to four months okay because uh, we focus on docker kubernetes helm jenkins a lot so this would take uh, some time okay and uh, uh, so the timing is wrong here uh, so this is for the weekdays so we will have the week uh, end sessions like 8 a.m to uh, you know 11 a.m saturday and sunday okay so this is for the weekdays currently we are not having weekdays it is week ends only 8 a.m to 11 a.m IST time okay so we do not provide any course completion certificate or interview or job support there is no placement support and assurance given but uh, we would provide you lifetime access to the course content and we'll also discuss the interview questions no download access will be given okay so there is no individual training on individual topics so it's all complete end-to-end -end devops we don't provide classroom trainings right and uh, we all uh, know the fee structure and all so it is 23,000 INR or 3,000 USD okay so there is this document which is available in this link so you can go through this link and understand uh, you know the payment modes the payment timelines and uh, the advanced payments everything is uh, clearly mentioned in this document okay and once you pay the fee so what you have to do is you have to share your email ID name phone number and also the payment screenshot uh, personally to our uh, number so we would announce that number in the group whatsapp group okay so once you share the screenshot you will be given access to the google drive and also you'll be added to a separate whatsapp group okay so the whatsapp group you currently are in um, it's a temporary group so we would delete that group so once the sessions are started and those who make the payment they will be added to another group okay yeah so that's it from my side if you guys have any questions you can ask me and also Deekshit is in the call so you can also uh, ask him if you have any questions